all too often in the last couple of months, something seems to have been forgotten. And that is that 751 Europeans have been elected to directly represent citizens from 28 different nations in all their diversities, with all their differences, with all their different outlooks on lives. But you all come together here in this hemicycle to look for majorities to take decisions. And that is the essence of representative democracy, that you decide by majority. Just as the, the British people have decided by majority to leave the European Union, that decision needs to be respected. But likewise, those who only shouted here the years they were here in this parliament should have had more respect for the majority in this parliament, which decisions are just as legitimized by the voters who went to vote for them. And please, please, I call on all of you now that I have the opportunity to speak to so many of you. Don't let your democratic mandate be ridiculed or diminished. Stand up for it. You are the representatives of more than 500 million people. Be proud of it and stand up for it. And don't let those people tell you you do not represent the people. And those of you out there who've asked for the head of Jean-Claude Juncker, that is politically weak, morally questionable, intellectually lazy. Is that all you have to offer? Destroy for the sake of destruction rather than build something for your citizens. If there is one man, if there is one man in our European institutions who has listened very, very carefully to the majority in this parliament, who has tuned and changed his propositions and his priorities on the basis of a majority in this parliament. It is Jean-Claude Juncker, and he deserves the respect of this parliament and others for this attitude, which is entirely and fundamentally democratic at a European level. And I repeat, our people, our people, the people you represent, are worried about the future, are concerned about those who represent them, are worried if it were only the European institutions they challenge. That would be wonderful. We could get rid of the, institu rid of the institutions and everything would be okay. But look what has happened here, here. Look what's happening now in the UK. Look what's happening to the pound and your economy. Are you happy with that? I would not be happy with that looking backwards. And what we have seen, what we have seen is that political choices have real consequences for real people. These are not games we are playing. As politicians, you have a responsibility. Face up to them. Don't run away when you are scared of the consequences of your actions. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what distinguishes Jean-Claude Juncker fundamentally from people like Farage and others. When things get tough, he starts working, he puts his back into it, he does not run away. That is what is the difference between him and you. So yes, we will focus and reorient our work programme on the basis of what a majority in this parliament tells us to do. Not on those who, because they are too weak to find majorities in a democratic way, always refer to a mythical people. Let's democracy work. Get the votes. Get the votes. Get the votes. And shouting at me will not make your posi position stronger. Let me end on this, ladies and gentlemen. Never, never be intimidated by big mouths. Never be intimidated by insults. Listen carefully 
to the real concerns of our voters. They are not happy with us. We need to change our ways. We need to do better. But walking away is not the answer. Providing concrete solutions for concrete problems is the answer. And the Commission is your partner to make this happen this year and next year. Thank you very much.